open up the Bible and show me. No, no, no. Oh, where did he say, worship the Father through me? It's a specific said, ask. He said God is spirit. There's a worship, worship in spirit and in truth. You know what you're doing, my friend? You're not being very discussing with me in a sincere sense. If you are going to make some claims, you need to substantiate the claims without any ambiguity. You can't say, you know what? I'll tell you, the angels are God. Do you know why? Because Paul, that day or that hour, no one knows. Not even the angels, not even the Son, but only the Father. So you've got Father, Son, and the angels. That's the Trinity there. So the angels are God. Does it follow? It doesn't follow. It's a nonsense argument. Just because three things are mentioned together, it doesn't make them God, a part of a Trinity. If you want to make someone God, it needs to be explicit. Do you find any statements in the Old Testament where God says, I am God and there's none else? Do you, have you found any statement? No, no, I'm not going to ask for a reference. Have you come across references where God says, I am God and there's none else? Before me, there was no God form. After me, there was no God form. I alone am God and there's none else. Did God make categorical statements like this in the Old Testament? He has. He has. Now find me a categorical statement like this in the New Testament where Jesus says something like that about himself. Before Abraham was, I am. Okay. Imagine now I am Jesus and saying the same statement. Okay. Just picture me, I'm Jesus. And I'm still telling you. Before Abraham was, I am. What am I saying? What am I claiming? You're quoting Exodus. No, 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 no. What am I claiming? Before, in fact, Jesus didn't speak English. So let's go back to the original. Before Abraham was, the word I am comes from a name of God. It's a name of God, yes. Yahweh, Iha, Yahuwah, whatever. Let's say Yahuwah. So I'll make the same statement Jesus did. Before Abraham was, Yahuwah. Did you hear what I said? Okay. Everyone hear this. I'm making a claim and I want you to tell me what claim have I made. Before Abraham was Yahuwah. What claim am I making? For the claim to be God. So if I said before Abraham was Yahuwah, it means I'm claiming to be God. Do you speak English? I speak English. Yeah. So in what part of my statement tells you that I am claiming to be God? Because I am only saying before Abraham was Yahweh. Where is I in there? Where is I in there saying I am? Look, if I said before Abraham was camera, am I claiming I am God? In my statement, before, okay, wait, wait, before Abraham was camera, am I claiming to be God in that statement? Come on, man, you speak English. I'm not. No, no, I don't want parables. When it comes to God, then you have a big problem. You cannot know anything surely, categorically, what he claimed. Because in the Old Testament, God freed the people of the children of Israel from them worshipping a camera. If there was a camera, there wasn't. A stone. Whatever. Because if God spoke ambiguously, like who he was, then they could have worshipped a stone or a calf or a banana. But God made it very clear. I am God. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall worship no one else besides me. No why, image. No. why he did that? To make everyone be sure that it's God that you should worship. Not a football. Likewise, in the New Testament, if God came on this earth, imagine now, God's actually here, around us. And you've been speaking to him. And he left. And yet, you even have a clue whether he's God on earth or not. In fact, in fact, what you realize is, ah, look at this man, how nice he is. Look at this what? Man. Look how nice he is. He's trying to heal my sick child. Ah, oh, thank God for sending him such a man like that. If you really thought God came on this earth to tell people I am God and worship me, it was a failure. Instead, people saw... He saw about the miracles. Wait, 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 let me, let me contextualize. Okay, okay. When Jesus came, the Bible narration goes like this. People heard about him. And they said, ah, oh, there's a mighty man doing all wonders and miracles. Let me go to him, he's a prophet. And they said, oh, can you heal this man? And they praised God 
for what this man has done to him. So, did they consider this man to be God and say, Hallelujah, let me worship you? No. They were thanking God for such a man doing all these miracles as a prophet. So this demonstrates Jesus didn't go around telling people to worship me. Because if he did, people have realized. Instead, what we find is... In, uh, instead, what we find is people took him as a prophet, as a mighty man, a miracle worker. And we find he himself says, he is not the true God. According to Jesus Christ, do you know who? The Father, the he was the Son. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay. According to Kondi, according to Jesus Christ, who is the only true God? Is it? I'm going to option. Is it the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Is it the Holy Spirit only? Is it the Son only? Is it the Father only? Or is it something else? I've given you four options. Let me rep repeat again. Is the only true God? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, option one. It's only the Holy Spirit, option two. It's only the Son, option three. It's only the Father, option four. And option five, none of that, someone else. Who did Jesus say the only true God is? Before I do that, in fact, Conti, according to you as a Christian, who is the only true God? The one, the one in nature, God the no. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Right. So according to Condi, the only true God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Good. One in nature. That's, that's, that's your belief. Let's see whether you agree with Jesus or not. According to Jesus Christ, as reported in your Bible, which you believe in, who is the only true God out of these five options? I do the will of my Father. So he's a primary... He's five a options. There's no six. Like you saying, this is a six option, which I didn't bring. According to this he five options, father. you mentioned Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and then he said, "According to Jesus, which of those options?" Mention the options again, one more time. All three: Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. Only the Holy Spirit. Only the Son. Only the Father. Or none of them. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit—they're one in nature. It's not simple as. I, I am said, not saying they're not one in nature, they're one in nature. I've given you options. Either all of them, none of them, or only one of them. Which one of those options? According to Jesus Christ. Because he should be your arbitrator. He should be the judge but for you. Spirit, so yeah, you, whatever you, you believe in. Understand it. No, what I'm saying is, yeah. whatever you believe about God, yeah. Jesus would have arbitrated to tell you who the true God is. So who is it? Out of this five. He said, I am my father and one. Said, Who is it out of this five? Okay. The let's... Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They are, that, that is the God. Okay. According that is to the Godhead. The... Excuse me. Book of Colossians. Let, let me Godhead. now do my elimination one by one. Did Jesus say the only true God is the Holy Spirit only? He didn't say that. He didn't say that. Option out. Did he say the, whole, the Son is the only true God only? The Son and the Father. One of the options is. Did he say the Son alone, only, is the only true God? Only, no. Okay, no, that, that, that cannot be an option. option. Right. Did he say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, they're all one true God? In different, different verses, yes. Different verses. Any, you, want it, you just want it in one verse. No, 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 no. Uh, if you are going to say Jesus said that, you know what my next question is going to be? Fat, hatu burhanakum. In kuntum sadiqeen. Produce your proof if you speak the truth. Evidence. So, let me ask you again. Did Jesus Christ say the only true God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, as you say? Baptize him in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about God baptism or play football. Did he ever say the only? I need the word only. I need the word true. I need the word for, God. For that verse, I, said, I, am. I need the word three exclusive terms. Only. God and only true God. This identification. Not by no, Paul, he did, he, not by Samantha. Say only, he say wait, only, wait, wait, he wait, wait, wait. Not by you. Samantha. I just answered. Not by Tom, Dick, and Harry, but Jesus himself. He did not say that you use the word only. No, I want only because Why that means. He didn't use that word in the gospel. He did. Where? I will show you. But let's go by elimination. Because there are two options left. Either it's the Father only or the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit only. If someone says only, we know that's becoming very clear. It's exclusive term. 
If you say Allah is the only true God, can there be anyone else? There cannot be. That's why we will not worship a tree or a monkey or a banana because Allah says He is the only true God. That gives us this tranquility in the heart, contentment in the heart that God is not the only true God. And some people think, but there might be another God, God number two, God number three. King James. King James. Whichever he finds. We don't, we don't know. We don't know. We don't wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I want you to, I want you to eliminate one by one like you've done. In your, no, because I don't want to spoil. The, no, no, I don't want to spoil the truth by simply not giving you the truth. I want the Bible to speak the truth for you. Let's speak the Bible first and then. Go no, go ahead, no, please. no, not yet. You said. Jesus Christ said in many verses, hold on for it, bring it to me yeah. in a second. No, he said in the, the, various only, verses. The word only is not in there, that's what he said. No, I will show him only, I will show that only, because that's the crux of my argument. So, you said in various verses, Jesus mentioned that. Fine. Show me those various verses where Jesus identifies and says, the only true God is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go on. I'm not being very restrictive to you. I said, yeah. From all this verse, in fact, take the whole of the Bible. He introduced himself with the Father. I am my Father one. You can see me, I've seen the Father. Show me where he says, the only true God is Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. That verse is not there. You're trying to right. create a verse. So that, You're trying to a so verse. that verse is not there, neither is the teaching. In fact, now is the last option. Okay, show me this the last option. Book of John, yeah. chapter 17, verse 3. King James Version, or any other Bible yeah, in there. James, uh, and this is and this life, is life eternal. eternal. That they might know the, the only true God. And, Who is? And Jesus Christ. Well, John says, and Jesus Christ. Who, and Jesus Christ, whom thou no, hast sent. Yeah, yeah. So, what's Jesus Christ? Is the one who you have sent. Yes, sent. So there's two individuals identified here. The eternal life is knowing the, meaning who? You, the Father, in verse 1. So the eternal life is knowing the Father is the only true God and also knowing that He sent Jesus Christ as a one who's been sent. Exactly what we call the Shahada. There is no God but God and this prophet is the prophet of God, one who's been sent. So according to Jesus Christ Himself, the only true God is not the Son, not the Holy Spirit, but what you call the Father. So now you realize even Jesus does not claim to be God. He says the one and only true God is the Father in your understanding of God. I already mentioned that John, John chapter 5 verse 30, but let me go into it. Go to John chapter 30 and tell me how does that go against this? How does this in any way... I never said it goes against... No, no, how does, that, how does that support your case? Because if now, okay, in fact, in John 3.16, in your belief, you are told, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that you may have eternal life, right? Okay. When He says only begotten Son, can there be another one? Can there be another begotten Son? There cannot be another begotten. Maybe. Because it says what? Only begotten Son. Only begotten. The word only. Just like Jesus says, you are the only true God. If he said you are the only true God, there cannot be anyone else. You can't get anything clear from that, my friend. That's why there's a fight of intellect between the Unitarian Christians and the Trinitarian Christians. <coughs> there's some Unitarian Christians over there. Earlier on, I saw them. They will tell you, the only true God is the Father, not Jesus, not the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You'll find many academics, they'll tug it. They'll tell you, no, the only true God is the Father. So the Bible tells you that you should worship the God of Jesus Christ. Did you know that but Jesus... eternal life, remember, the only true God and Jesus Christ, who is no, no, eternal no. life. It didn't say only true God is Jesus Christ also. The only no, true no, God no. is the Father and Jesus Christ is the one who is sent by this Father. That's for eternal life, yes. Yes. So every moment in history, to have eternal life, you have to believe in God and you have to believe in the prophet and the messenger sent at that time. Jesus Christ. At the time of Jesus, he was the prophet you have to follow. But after, at the time of Moses, it wasn't Jesus Christ, it was Moses. You had to follow him to get eternal life. 
Now, that was a shadow of the now I want to ask you this question. Book of Hebrews chapter one. Do you believe God the Father has a God? No, he's just God the Father. Is it even meaningful <coughs> to even ask God the Father has a God? It's nonsense. How can God have a God? Well, you just asked it. But no, no. Know, but do, you, do you agree with me? I agree with you. It's yeah. nonsense to say God has a God. Yeah. I agree with you and you agree with me. Now look what Jesus said to Mary Magdalene. Wait you here. Don't touch. But go and tell my brethren that I am going to my father and your father and my God and your God. Who is Jesus going to? Let's identify. He's going to his father and your father. So is his father and your father any different? No. After the resurrection, it, 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 when, unity, there was unity now. Let's understand yeah. what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying his father and your father are the same. If he's the son of God, so are you. So you're not going to be worthy of worship because you're a son of God. He's saying the father is simply a way of expressing someone who's close to you. Well, so the fathership is not something unique to Jesus. It's your father too. But that's not the end of it. He says, I'm going to my God and your God. I'm going to my God. Does he have a God? He's going to. The answer is yes. He says, I have a God. That's my God and I'm going to him. God, your God, yeah. God does not have a God. Any individual who says, I have a God I'm going to. Condi, God has given you a brain and a heart. But he, but he was and a heart. Divine. Wait, he wait, divine. wait. God has given you a heart and a mind and a soul. And with this, you should know that anyone who says, I have a God I'm going to, cannot be God. Because he God was doesn't. Divine. He was unique. Look, look. Bring his salvation. Listen. Anyone who says, I have a God, cannot be God. He was unique in bringing salvation. He was the Word. You're not listening. Anyone who says, if the Father said, I have a God, he cannot be God. But he was the Son. I am saying about the Father now. I'm questioning the Father. If the Father said, I have a God, I would not consider him to be God. Neither should you. That was never said. No, no. Neither should you. Do you know why? Because God doesn't have a God. Because God is the only being who is self-sufficient. Coming back to my question, my argument. Self-sufficiency. The only being who is self-sufficient is the one who is God. Can be God. But how can you worship God? This is where Jesus Christ came into place. Jesus Christ worshipped God. Had a God. Going to God. And yet, my friend Gandhi. You're still considering him divine. You're considering him part of God. That is going to be something different. In the day of judgment, when you will be questioned by God, why did you associate a partner with me? When a Muslim in Hyde Park in 2024 told you that the individual that you worshipped as God himself had a God and you knew that I cannot have a God. How, do you know how would you give your excuse and justification? How do you know what God's going to ask? Different people could ask different questions. This Quran tells us, God that's will ask, that's your book, that's your book, look, Quran will ask even Christ himself. Did you tell people? Did you tell people to take you and your mother as gods besides God? Do you know what he will say? Never. I've never said such a thing. Even if I said so, you'd know. You know what's in your in my heart, but I don't know what's in your heart. But I've never said such a thing. I only said, worship God, my Lord and your Lord. He will say I never such a thing. Now, so those, pe how. So those people who'd want to say, oh Jesus, but I thought you're God, 